Glad you're watching the lunchtime news. Time for sports and we begin now from Qatar. My colleagues Daniel Wahome and Karen Kibeta are pitching camp in Qatar. For the updates, we are now being joined live by Daniel Wakome. Daniel Wakome, good afternoon from Kenya. Thank you very much, Irene Muchuma, back at Broadcasting House. We are live at the Qatar National Convention Center, which is the main media center for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. And if you were just to take a look back at what is happening here, it's a whole setup where journalists are bum banging out copy and making all the stories that are coming through from the press conferences, starting with the one that's lined up next. And you can imagine Korea Republic and Uruguay having their press conferences in the next 15 or so minutes. So that's a part of what we're going to be taking a look at. But remember, the feature match tonight on KBC Channel 1 is Japan versus Spain at 10 p.m. And Japan on three points, Spain on four points. This is technically the top of the table clash in Group E. It's going to be there, remember, for Germany playing against Costa Rica. This is another tough group. It's four points that are three points that are required by Germany against Costa Rica, and they pray that the Samurai Blue do lose, the Samurai Blue embarrassing Germany. So a draw for the Samurai Blue somehow will tend to work for them because Germany are on a negative goal difference. They have to go on a goal fest. So that's one of the things that everyone's got to look at. But that's our main match. And also, things also that we are going to be talking about, Cameroon are having their press conference this afternoon. And we've got the coach, Rigo Bear Song, and also going to be um, at that press conference is Zambo Angisa, who's one of the players in that team. Ghana are also going to be having their press conference this afternoon against Uruguay and there's so much conversation around that story. It goes back to 2010. That infamous handball by Luis Suarez that denied Ghana that opportunity to make it to the semis. And then you also have got Cameroon playing against Brazil. So who's going to be at the Ghana press conference? It's going to be coach Otto Addo and Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey easily recognizable against Kenyans. And for Ghana, a very important thing for them. They would like to join Senegal in the group stages. So much hopes of the African teams lying with Ghana and also with Morocco. So tonight's football action, remember, uh, Morocco will be playing against Canada. Canada is the second youngest um, team at the World Cup. I'm one of the youngest teams at the World Cup, you've just got to give it to them. They're playing against Morocco. Morocco, after the win uh, against Belgium, they're all pumped up for that. So they just need to do that and move on to the next phase. Remember, so much inspired by Widad Casablanca. They've got local base players and a former um, Casablanca coach who's going to be out there. So the, a lot of that is expected. And remember, this World Cup, if you can't make it to the stadium, they are the fun parks. So part of the engagement that is there for all the fans is have fun at the fun parks, watch that. There's a, I mean, a place that can hold, I will be talking about 500,000 square meters of a fun park. An entire area has been closed out so that the fans can have fun. Remember, it is all about the camaraderie and all that. Logistically, can't say we are suffering here. I mean, the kind of movement that we've seen, it's eased up and all that. So look out for all of that action we shall be giving you the brief on the cameroon press conference and also on the brazil press conference because tomorrow cameroon they will be playing against brazil that match is going to be live on kbc channel one ghana they will also be playing their final game against uruguay those two matches are featured on kbc channel one it's basically what we can say the final day of the group phase of the fifa world cup qatar 2022 and remember you can always catch up with all that action as gets to the knockout phase 10 matches throughout all of it on kbc channel one the radio stations they're dropping all of that so look out for that and you will be getting all the updates from the players from the coaches and also from the fans. My name is Daniel Wahome at the Qatar National Convention Center in Doha, Qatar. Back to you, Irene Muchuma.